The future is, is exceedingly bright, and for those of you who are my age, think of it as the Jetsons without people in the aircraft. The strong points of the Texas A&M University system offering to the FAA included the clear airspace that we provide and the diversity that is provided in those ranges, including maritime operations, desert operations, and some high altitude operations as well. So this geographic diversity and this large size make for a tremendous uh, opportunity for testing vehicles in a variety of different environments. All the unmanned aircraft systems that will be operating across different ranges will send information and data to the command and control center here in Corpus Christi. These test ranges are where people are going to do tests that will allow the FAA to get the data they need to integrate these platforms into the national airspace. The integration of unmanned aircraft into the national airspace is definitely a Kitty Hawk moment for the history of aviation. It's absolutely a Kitty Hawk moment for the history of this institution. But one of the things that's going to happen after these aircraft are, are integrated into the national airspace is that uh, private sector companies are going to be, uh, begin to develop technology. This isn't just about research. We're talking about a multi-billion dollar economic impact here. And it's about research, development, and commercialization. TEAS will be an internationally recognized leader for applied research, product development, and commercialization. That will happen. We expect this program to spin out companies based on the technologies that we develop. The first area is going to be what we call precision agriculture. Also doing disaster relief and disaster relief support. Wildfire. Port security and port security analysis. Rangeland management. Oil spill, early detection. Detection of leaks in pipes. Precision farming, we reduced water usage and we know water is precious. There are over 300 commercial applications.